All right, guys, we're here to go through the analyzing patterns and relationships quiz. The biggest thing with this quiz is being to take your time and to really think about what is happening in each question. Like what is the pattern and relationship between the numbers? So you really need to take your time. So this table shows two patterns. What are the next terms for each pattern? So on this side, we're adding eight. So zero plus eight is eight. Eight plus eight is 16. 16 plus a is, we should get 24. On this side, we're adding two. Zero plus two is two. Two plus two is four. Four plus two is six. So you should have 24 and six. Complete the sentence about pattern G and pattern H and use the table to help. So each term in pattern G is what? to the corresponding term in pattern H. So is zero, let's try each one, is zero four times zero, is eight four times two, is 16 four times bigger than four, is 24 four times bigger than six? Yeah, all of these I would times by four in order to get what's over here. Is what's in column G a quarter of the size of H, so is eight, a quarter smaller than two is 16 a quarter the size of four. Is 24 a quarter of six? No, it's the opposite way. Is it two times? Is eight two times bigger than two? Is 16 two times bigger than four? No, we already said it was four times bigger. Or are these half? Is eight half of two? Is 16 half of four? No. The column G um, numbers are four times bigger than the numbers in column H. All right, so we're gonna complete the table to see what's gonna come in these last uh, boxes here. So what's happening each time? I went from 24 to 20, from 20 to 16, from 16 to 12. What is happening between each of these? The numbers are going down, and they're going down every time by four. So they're subtracting four each time. So then if I did 12 minus four, I will get eight. We're gonna do the same thing in column Q. 24 to 22. Looks like that went down by two. 22 to 20, that went down by two. 20 to 18 minus two. So then 18 minus two is 16. What is the next ordered pair in the table? So what numbers would come next? If they're adding four each time, zero plus four is four, four plus four is eight, eight plus four is 12, 12 plus four is we should have 16 there. So we know it's not gonna be this one, not gonna be 18. Could be this one, could be this one, not gonna be this one. Let's see what our second number is. If we're adding six, zero plus six is six, six plus six is 12, 12 plus six is 18, 18 plus six is 24. So our second number should be 24. We said our first one was 16. So then we have 16 and 24 would be our pair over here. Ty wrote two patterns, then she made the corresponding numbers into ordered pairs and graphed them. So here's the graph as she made it. Pattern A starts at zero and uses the rule add what? So we're at zero here. They added how much going this way? She went over two. Boop, boop. Two. Over two each time. So every time she's adding two. Now, if we're looking going um, on our Y, she started at zero and added what every time? Well, she went up three here. From three to six is three. From six to nine is three. From nine to 12 is three. So on her X, she added two, and on her Y, she added three. Which statement explains the relationship between corresponding terms in the table? So is each term in pattern X is five times the corresponding term in pattern Y. Let's see that. Is five five times bigger than 15? Is 10 five times bigger than 30? No. Each term in pattern X is a fifth of the corresponding term in pattern Y. So is five a fifth of 15? So like 15 divided by five would be five. 
Is 10 a fifth of 30? If I did 30 divided by 5, would I get 10? No, that one doesn't work. Each term in pattern X is a third of the corresponding term in pattern Y. So is 5 a third of 15? Or is 15 divided by 3, 5? Would 30 divided by 3 be 10? 45 divided by 3 be 15? Yes. So I like that one. Each term in pattern X is three times the corresponding term in pattern Y. So 5 is three times bigger than 15. No, it's a third of the size. It's actually, if I did 15 divided by 3, I would get 5. This isn't 5 times bigger. These are the smaller numbers. So it's a third. which is a graph of the ordered pairs form from the corresponding terms of pattern S and pattern T. Pattern S starts at 10 and uses the rule subtract 1. Pattern T starts at 10 and uses the rule subtract 2. So if I start at 10, right, and I'm subtracting 1, then my next dot should be at 9. So from 10 right here, my next dot would be at 9. Yes. And we're also using the rule subtract 2. So I'm starting at 10. If I subtract 2, then I should be at 8. See if that continues to work on this one. Subtract 1. So we're at 9. I subtract 1. I should be at 8. And then I subtract 2. So I would go down 2 to 6. That worked again. I, I want to burn. Yes, I'm right here. Hold on one second. Sorry, that was my son coming in for something. So that works. If I did 10 here and I subtracted 1, I would have to be at 9. Nope, they're going in the whole opposite direction, right? If I subtracted 1, then I would be at 9. They didn't even start in the right spot here. They started at 1 and 10. We need to start at 10 and 10. Both of these are supposed to start at 10. So here, they're at 10 and 10. They subtract 1. There's no dot on 9. They actually ended up subtracting 2 here instead of 1. So there should have been a dot on 9. So this is actually subtracting 1 and then subtracting 2. All right, and our last question here. The graph shows the first four ordered pairs formed by the corresponding terms of two patterns. And we're figuring out what would be the next ordered pair. What would be the next thing on the graph? So I started at zero. See, we went over one, two, three. So we have add three. And then we had one. So then we have, they went over three, right? From three to six. And then up one. Added three, up one. Added three up one, so where are we at? We are at 12 and four. We should end up at 12, four. All right, and that's it for this quiz. I will be doing the practice analyzing patterns and relationships one as well, and we'll send that to you as soon as I get it done. Bye guys.